Vipassana and Shamatha are the two basic types of meditation. Shamatha, or stabilizing or concentration meditation, refers to the act of one-pointed concentration on a single object or image. Because our mind are almost always distractedly and ceaselessly running after forms, sounds, smells, tastes, and sensations, like restless monkey, the practice of shamatha is designed to bring an active mind to a place of stillness and calm abiding. Vipassana, also known as clear seeing or insight meditation, is a means of developing deep insight into true nature of all phenomena. It is the wisdom of seeing things in a direct and especially clear way, and can be further classified as analytical or settling meditation. All confused thoughts and beliefs can be deconstructed by reasoning and analysis. This method allows us to actively examine the concept we cling to and to question whether they are truly exist or not. When brought into a Buddhist context, this activity is called analytical meditation. Whenever we reach a conclusion through analysis and reasoning, for example, impermanence, we can remain settled on that conclusion. If we achieve a certain level of realization, our mind can come to rest in that realization. This activity is called settling meditation. Through these two types of practice, logic becomes more sustainable and understanding gains force. This can, in turn, eventually lead to wisdom and enlightenment. We have talked about Vipassana, Shamatha, Analytical Meditation, and Settling Meditation in our previous sessions. As Nagarjuna said in his letter to a friend, Lacking wisdom, concentration fails. And without concentration, wisdom as well. For someone who has both, Sansara's sea is no deeper than rainwater in a hoofprint. For Bodhisattvas, this type of concentration yield abundant happiness for themselves and others. As Maitreya explained in Ornament of Great Vilka Sutras, for worldly practitioners and common Vilka practitioners, because their concentration yield personal happiness, it is subject to deterioration and exhaustion. But for Bodhisattvas, since their concentration is embraced by the wisdom of emptiness, it remains inexhaustibly. <laughs>